Hello friends, thanks for stopping by today. I'm Robin, if you happen to be new, I've got such a fun video for everyone today. We're gonna go do some antique shopping at a local antique mall. I am ready to add some summer touches to my living room. I'm trying to go a little more cottage core this year, so we're gonna head out to this local antique mall looking for just some simple summer decor pieces. So if you love antique shopping as much as I do, hit that thumbs up button and let's get to shopping, friends. It's really loud out here right off of a highway but look how cute these little plant stands are this would be cute on the hearth wouldn't it oh my goodness I love these a little cottage looking that one's 15 I really like this one with the green that one's what 26 oh my goodness those are really really sweet I can see these on the porch or on the hearth in the living room with a big old ivy or big old plant in them All right, so let's have a look around. I was actually really impressed with how big this place was and with all the great items they had. I also thought that the prices were pretty reasonable. Now, one thing to know about me is when I'm antique shopping, I am so drawn to kitchen items. Kitchen decor is just my favorite to shop for, when, especially when it comes to antique shopping. And I'm trying to stay focused today and just look for items to go in my living room. However, you'll notice throughout this little bit of footage that I filmed for you guys, I get sidetracked a lot. And my first distraction was this beautiful red and white dishware. Oh my, I loved it. All I could think of was seeing this on my kitchen hut, especially during Christmas time. Now, this dishware to me could be left up year round, but it was beautiful. I just love the pattern on this. And I really loved this antique plate stand. This would be really pretty on the kitchen hutch too. It's a little long and it's a little pricey at $65, but I thought it was a gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Another piece that really caught my eye was this gorgeous kitchen print. The yellow flowers makes this picture perfect for summer. I love the wooden butter mold that's in the print. That is so, so pretty. Y'all, this red and white kettle is adorable. I'm already thinking about Christmas decor, and this would be perfect as displayed during the holiday season. And can you guys see how I'm drawn to kitchen stuff? I'm looking for maybe candlesticks, a new art print for the mantle, a summer wreath, etc. Things um, for the living room. However, it's been pretty much kitchen items this whole time. Uh, this may be the one item though I regretted not picking up. I have the same copper measuring cup hanging beside my kitchen sink on a little hook. And I didn't pick this up today because I was really trying not to buy anything else for the kitchen. But I may go back in a few weeks and if it's still there, pick that up. Now this last booth was my favorite booth and this is pretty much where I got all of my items that I picked up today. So let's head home and let me show you what I bought and could not live without today. Okay, friends, we're finally back from antique shopping. Oh my, that was the funnest store. When I say funnest, it's because it had so much to look at. Kind of like when I go to Charlotte's Trade Days. It was really large, it had lots of booths, and guess how long I was in there? <laughs> an hour and a half, at least an hour and a half. I could have easily done two hours, because oh my gosh, there is so much to look at. So the ladies were, the ladies there were so, so kind. And when I first walked in, I didn't really feel very comfortable like asking if I could film, I usually do that. But there were so many people in there. So I got a little bit of footage, and then when I went to check out, again, the ladies were so nice. And somehow we got on the color green. She was saying that green is definitely the color this season. And I said that we could blame it on Joanna Gaines because her colors this year for summer and spring were dark, that dark hunter green. And some of the things I got today were green. So that got us on the subject. And then I shared with them that I had a YouTube channel. So I got two new subscribers today. 
I just love that. I love sharing my channel with ladies that I know love watching decorating channels and cleaning channels and homemaking channels. So anyway, let's get started, guys. I just picked up a couple of things. I did try to walk down every single aisle, and I was specifically trying to find things to go in my living room to add more of a cottage feel, and I found so much more, but I didn't get anything. I tried to, again, just get the things I wanted for my living room video today. So let me show you what I picked up. So most of the stuff there was all antiques. There wasn't much new, except this one little booth had some new stuff. And this is where I got these beautiful lavender plants. Can y'all see these? Oh, I loved the pot that's on there. Um, they looked like a terracotta pot to me. And look how pretty those flowers are. I love the muted green on there. So, so pretty. And I got these for $10 each. They only had two of them, so I got both of them. I thought one would look really good on maybe the mantle. And one would look good maybe on one of my side tables. Or even my bookshelf when you walked into the living room. So, I think this is going to add an adorable cottage feel to the living room. And again... I got two of them because why not? They were so, so cute. And I could also use these maybe on my hutch in my bedroom. I mean, you could use these pretty much anywhere, but I thought they were just gorgeous. So these were new items. So again, $10. Okay. Then I got this beautiful little cloche. Cloche. Is that how you say it? Cloche. And it was $5. I love that little rusted look on it. It is so, so pretty. And it also, to me, gives off like a cottage vibe. I'm thinking of putting this either on the mantle or on the hearth. I see like a terracotta pot with a plant in it. How sweet would that be? But I loved, again, that little antique cottage feel to that. So, so pretty. Okay, and one last thing that I picked up was this is where the convers sorry fell out. This is where the conversation started when we talked about something green. I picked up this adorable green pitcher. Oh my gosh, is that not the cutest thing ever? I love the distressed look of it, and I think I, got, I think I paid three dollars for this. This was the best little place with such cute stuff. So. How cute would it be like to maybe to have some little plants, uh, a little stems in this, and look how cute that is. Oh, that's adorable. That's what I picked up today in my antique shopping. Okay, now let's look at my new curtains, and I can thank Ashley, my friend Ashley, uh, who's been one of my wonderful YouTube friends for some time now. Uh, Ashley Phelps, I'll uh, link her video, or her, I'll link a link to her uh, YouTube channel down below in my description box. She used to be called Busy Little Blondies, and now she just goes by her name. But in her one of her summer videos, go go watch her. If you if you like my channel, you're looking to love her. She still has kids at home, so my friends out there that still have kids at home, then you might can relate more to Ashley because she's still raising her children. But she posted on her, one of her summer videos these beautiful curtains, and I believe that she used green in her kitchen, and I went with a blue for my living room. Look how pretty. It was really a hard decision. I'm like, do I do green? Do I do blue? Because green's so popular, but I really, I have a lot of blue here in the living room, so... I thought, okay, let me go with blue curtains, and then I'll add some green accents. So, this is the curtains. Let me show you a closer look. The pattern is just beautiful. And again, they came from Amazon. I will link them in my Amazon favorites, um, and I'll have a link down below in my description box. The only thing, I wish these weren't like this color. I wish these were, I don't know, maybe black? I don't know what else could go, but I really did not like these little eyes on here. I wish it was more of like a tab. I'll show you the top of those curtains here in a second, but but the design is just beautiful. So I'm hoping that, you know, once I get them up, you really won't be able to, um, you know, see those little tabs too much, but I wasn't very happy with, again, the color of those, but these curtains are absolutely beautiful. To me, they bring in more of a cottage style into my living room, and I think they're going to add a little bit more color than these do here. I love these curtains here. They come from Lowe's. But these curtains, oh, they're really going to spice up my living room for summer. So I cannot wait to get them up. Okay. And then the last thing I have um, in this summer decor haul for my living room is my package that uh, when Charlotte and I went to San Marcos, Fredericksburg for our summer girls strip for a couple of days, I filmed going to the silos. 
um, with Joanna Gaines and I went into their shopping center and bought a couple of things specifically for this summer makeover in my living room uh, to go on my coffee table. Matter of fact, we left. I saw the items and thought, oh my gosh, I was trying to be on a budget. We left and went to eat and then I just could not keep getting these items out of my mind. So Charlotte's like, let's just run back over there and pick them up. And I'm so glad that she said that she would do that for me. So I have had these y'all in this package since we got home from vacation, I don't know, six or eight weeks ago, possibly. So it's still in the original bag that I bought it, Magnolia. <laughs> So it's just a few items to go on my coffee table, specifically for my coffee table. So let me show you what I got. Okay. Okay, let's start with the biggest item, which was my most favorite, which I saw this and thought, oh my gosh, that's gonna be my color scheme this year. And that's gonna really add a cottage feel in my living room. Ready? Ta -da. Oh my goodness, y'all. Look how gorgeous is this vase. I love the terracotta look. I love the muted green and the tan mixed together. Oh, it is so pretty. So this is what I mean by I'm going to do blues and greens. So this green will, to me, bring out the blue of those curtains, but it is simply gorgeous. I love that it's tall. And slender and it's gonna look so good on my coffee table so this is the first item that I picked up so so pretty okay oh and these are the flowers that I got to go in there aren't they beautiful I picked up two packages of, of them they're like just a, a dainty wild flower but they're very casual they're very neutral oh and I got two things of them and I just love the way they're wrapped. Aren't they so sweet? So I got two of them and they're gonna look so good inside this vase. Mm. Oh, 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 so pretty. So like, again, yeah, I got two of them. So I cannot wait to see this on my coffee table. Okay, and then I don't know if I'm gonna sit these um, beside uh, the vase on my coffee table, if I'm gonna leave the books that I have there, if I'm gonna put these on my mantle. Not real sure, but I also picked up these beautiful candlesticks. Hang on, let me get it unwrapped. Oh. <laughs> I couldn't really remember what they look like, y'all. It's been sitting in that bag for so long. I love the texture of them. To me, it has great cottage style to it but it's this beautiful tan colored candlesticks. To me, that pulls out the tan in this face. How pretty. So I have two of these. And then I can't remember, guys, let me open the candles. I can't remember what color candles that I got. It was the decision to make because there were several different ones that she had displayed in these candlesticks beside this particular vase. And I could not determine Matter of fact, two ladies were walking by, and I'm like, excuse me, but could you give me your opinion on what you think would look good inside uh, these candlesticks? Um, and so, I, they picked out, like I said, I can't remember, blue. Oh, oh, you know what, guys? <laughs> this just shows my indecisive when it comes to decorating. I think they picked out the green, and then when I went to check out, I'm like, you know, let me go ahead and get the blue, too. <laughs> So I got the green candlesticks and I got the blue candlesticks. How funny. I totally forgot that I had done that. The little checkout guy was so adorable and he walked over and got, I think I had the green ones is what the girls picked for me, the two strangers that I asked. And then he walked over and got the blue ones for me as I was checking out. So they were so, so sweet there. So I've got blue and green to work with, which is going to be great because I could always, um, I've got two candlesticks already on the mantle. I can change them out for these, or I can just change out these candles and use the candlesticks that I have up there. So excited to see. I'd love to use both sets of these in the living room for summer. So, okay, friends, I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So um, anyway, if you've been following me for a while, starting the first of the year, I've been really trying to not buy a lot of new things. 
my last couple of years, my videos have pretty much been going with the changes of season, buying all the new things that are out. And so this year I was determined I was not going to do that. Um, I have never been a big antique uh, person, but this year I thought, okay, I'm going to start thrifting and I'm going to start mixing in my new and old stuff. And so I can have more of, a, of an eclectic home, more of a cottage feel. And that's exactly what I'm going for. And that's exactly what I've been doing. So if you've noticed my past couple of videos for spring and summer, I haven't bought a lot of new items. So these are probably my first new items that I have bought this year. And I'm so excited to show you guys um, how I'm going to mix them in with some of my antique items. Okay, friends, that's all I have for you today. I sure hope you enjoyed today's video as much as I enjoyed filming it. I hope I encourage you to maybe stop by a local antique mall in your hometown and look around and see what you can find for your home. If you happen to be new today, please introduce yourself to me in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you, maybe your name, where you're from. If you're a returning subscriber, you know I love you guys. I appreciate you guys so much. You'll see this video on a Wednesday and then come back Sunday and you'll see me decorate my living room with all these fun things that I found. So again, I appreciate you guys. I love you and I'll see you in the next one. Bye friends.